I think it starts with not enough physics and not enough biomechanics. Like I'll say to my students, um, hey, what does the tensor fascia law to do? And they say, oh, it flexes the hip and abducts the hip and internally rotates the hip and extends the knee. And I said, okay, um, when I'm doing this particular action in front of you, which one is it doing first and most? And the entire room could be 150 people, it could be 800 people, it could be 10 people. They freeze and can't answer because we don't apply a lot of the physics concepts, uh, biomechanical concepts to our, our teaching of functional anatomy. So I'll say, look, you know, due to link tension curve, you can't do all those actions of flexion, abduction, internal rotation, knee extension. You can't do all those things at once. You have to be elongated on other planes and then you can fire on a plane due to that link tension curve, due to the building of tension. And they're like, oh, I never really thought about it like that. So those charts are actually really incorrect. You know, they're, they're really, I should say incomplete. 